Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how to install Windows or Linux onto a little netbook. So here we've got our USB thumb drive, it's a 16 gig thumb drive and we'll be using that to install our operating system onto this little netbook here. Okay. Now you can use Windows or Linux but you can't use a CD because there isn't no CD-ROM drive in these little netbooks Okay, and that's why we need to use a USB thumb drive. But first we'll have to put all our uh, Windows operating system or Linux onto our little thumb drive so we can actually uh, install that onto our little netbook and I'll show you how to do that in a second but as you can see here this one has Windows 7 on it but with uh, Zorin which is what we're going to be putting on it it's going to run a lot faster than uh, Windows 7 on this little netbook so let's get started okay now before we can start to install uh, Zorin onto our little netbook here we're going to need to get it onto our USB thumb drive. Now we're going to be using a free program called Yummy to do this for us and also I've already downloaded Zorin. Now if you wish to download Zorin and give it a go you can get it for free at this website here. Now I'm using the 32-bit version here. It's 1.5 gigabytes in size and that's because we're going to put this onto a little netbook. Okay, uh, But notebooks, netbooks, you can still use this uh, uh, type of software you can also use any other Linux distro if you wish to install and uh, also Windows you can use uh, Windows to install through a USB thumb drive as well if you haven't got an actual uh, internal DVD ROM drive so now you've got your actual distro downloaded onto your uh, desktop here you can see we've got our uh, yummy here I'm going to install this quickly so we'll just let this run and agree to the terms here now this is uh, yummy, you can get it from uh, pendrivelinux.com, it's a free download and we're going to be selecting drive H and the reason why it's drive H because that's the drive with my little pen in it, 16 gig pen and that's the pen we're going to be using which I showed you in the beginning. Now to actually do this you can actually show all drives here, I would not do that if I was you, uh, just in case you select the wrong drive and it will end up formatting that drive and stuff like that so you've got to be a bit careful. So what we're going to do here is this will format the drive okay? and we're going to select drive H, we're going to find our Zorin download, let me just uh, see this here and you can use this program as I said to do an installer, Windows 7 installer so if you need to do Windows you can do this also, same thing for Windows or um, Linux or whatever it is you want to do. So I'm just going to try and find Zorin here and there is Zorin, we've got it on the system so I'm just going to select the version that we're going to be using okay? and uh, what we need to do now is browse for the actual ISO so the next thing I need to do is just click on browse and you can see it on my desktop here I'm going to click on this and click open and now it's gone green you can see it there and that's ready to actually uh, install this ready as an installer onto my USB thumb drive so what I'm going to do here is create this now and it's going to perform these actions you just have to say uh, yes to this and that will start to format the actual drive and then install Zorin onto there ready as an installer ok ok so that's nearly installed now and as you can see that took about 5 minutes and 44 seconds so we just need to go next and it wants us to ask if we want to add any more distros I'm going to say no and then click finish and now we've got our pen drive all now finished ready and uh, ready to boot into our little uh, netbook there so we can actually in install Zorin onto that system and you can see it's all ready to go so let's take this actual pen now and put this into our little netbook and install our operating system OK, so now we've got our USB thumb drive created, we're ready to actually install it onto our little netbook. Now we've got Zorin on here and uh, we're going to be using that to install onto our little netbook rather than have Windows 7. Now we need to change the boot order and we're going to reboot and keep tapping on the F2 on this or the delete key depending on what version of uh, netbook you have. This is a Toshiba. So let's restart the actual system here. And, uh, and we're going to boot to our USB thumb drive but first we'll need to change the boot order for this one so we'll just quickly reboot the system 
Now I've got my thumb drive in already. Now keep tapping the F2 key in this case and normally you'll see it listed down near the bottom of the screen there okay. Now we're into the BIOS and what we're going to do is use our little cursor keys to actually shuffle across to where it says boot and then we're going to change the boot order. So you'll see where it says USB down at the bottom. We're going to come down to the bottom here. Now we need to click on either F5 or F6 to move the USB up to the first boot order. So we're just going to use that to shuffle that up to the top. Press F10 to save that and then reboot the system. And then we should be ready to start installing Zorin onto this little netbook. Okay, so there we've got our little menu up. Now all we need to do here is select what we want to do. We don't want to boot into the live environment. We want to go into the installation mode to install Zorin on this little netbook. Now what we need to do here is select start installer directly. We don't want to actually boot to the live environment. We want to install this onto our little netbook. Now you can run this alongside Windows 7 or any operating system that's on there but we're just going to completely wipe the whole drive and install Zorin straight on as its own operating system. Now this will install and it will take a bit of time okay so just give it a bit of time to install. It's just reading every, all the files off of the actual pen at the moment and you can see the activity on the pen there. Now it's just picking up on the wireless uh, connections you just need to select your language here so you can select what you like pretty self-explanatory stuff just follow the on-screen display this is just telling you uh, basically how much space you've got and whether you can connect to the internet and stuff like that well I've not bothered setting the internet up for this uh, tutorial and this is your wireless settings you can set this up if you wish I'm just gonna skip this part Now once that's all done, you just uh, select your area, your location. So you just have to point to where you are on the map, i.e. mine's England, London. So I'm just going to click on that and that will select that for us. And it just push continue. And then basically all you need to do here is just go through the motions really, set it all up, put your username in and your password and then just run that until it installs, okay? Now once it's finished taking all the files it needs off the USB stick pen, it will then start to install uh, Zorin onto the actual netbook, okay? And that will take a bit of time. I've speeded this process up. And that's about it. So let's restart that. And you'll see us boot straight into Zorin. So now we just select what we want to do to boot to actual Zorin. You can change all the boot order afterwards if you wish. Now all we've got to do here is just let Zorin boot up. It's detecting the wireless uh, connectivity if you set that up right. And this is very similar to a Windows operating system, although it's uh, Zorin. And as you can see here, it looks very similar structure to a Windows 7 operating system. You can change that to Windows XP, Mac, whatever you like. You can change all the settings in here, okay? But that's basically how you install any operating system onto a little netbook. So I hope this helps people out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos... Uh, hit that like button guys it really does help me out and also subscribe to my channel for the latest videos when I upload them and I'll see you in the next video so thanks again for watching bye for now